is going on guys? So today we are at Bay Ridge Volkswagen. They currently have the new 2022 GTI in stock. This is the SE model, so compared to the Autobahn edition that I recently reviewed, this is going to be the SE. New for 2022 is the Oryx White GTI. Now you remember the Oryx White, this is the color that came in the Golf R. Has like um, a nice pearlescent type of flake to it. So compared to the pure white and the candy white, this is more of a flaky look, more shiny. And I'm gonna go ahead and just do a short walk around of the exterior. Because you guys definitely have seen everything concerning the exterior, right? But overall, that flake looks amazing on the GTI. And if you guys are not interested in a pomelo yellow color, this might actually be the color to get. Very clean GTI, very clean color. Now compared to the outside, uh, this SC does have the LEDs right there. Thing with the cornering LEDs. That's a light bar right there that comes standard on an SC model. Body color matching mirror caps. Red painted calipers without the GTI. Right? Now for this, it comes with the 18s instead of the 19s on Autobahn. Should be 225s. Now I'm gonna start off with the rear hatch to give you guys a look overall how it looks. It's parking sensors all around. Same dual muffler tips, exhaust tips. Alright. I'll go ahead and step inside the vehicle. Now one thing for sure, the new Mark 8s have an exposed key slot instead of the mirror caps right here has exposed key slot now since this is not the autobahn it has a clark, clark plaid leather i mean um, the plaid it is cloth seats now this is interesting for the for the cloth seats in the mark 8 it has kind of like a velour type of feel here or like a Alcantara suede type of material on the inner certs on the bolsters and along here But this is very familiar in terms of your your your, um, your plaid Now the seats as you all know are new in the SC model or in the Mark 8 GTI All right leather in the back for the red contrast, but overall it's pretty much cloth now to the door patterns. This overall is the most understated, in my opinion, of the interior. It's a very nice carbon fiber. If you remember, like if you guys are into phones, D brand, this is like the matrix pattern along with it. Nice matte feel, but not too matte. Now, when I say not too matte, this is the matte feeling that you're, that you're that it's not so good like it's it doesn't scream quality but this one nice little touch all right door pockets are still felt lined i'm gonna go ahead and step in the vehicle now for safety reasons brooklyn bw is not going to let me have the keys but i'm going to move to see it a little bit back you guys a look All right. Overall, the interior is very familiar as in the Alderbahn, but a couple of things that are missing. In the SC, you do go ahead and get some heated steering wheels right here. But since the car is off, I am not able to go ahead and test out the haptics right now. So I'm gonna go and see if I can ask for the keys to go ahead and test out the haptics. All right, now moving along, the glove box is very interesting. Now it's no longer felt lined. It's kind of loud. And also there's no option to have a ventilated 
glove box right here as far as I'm concerned all right but they do give you like a USB dongle right here because the USB is only USB-C here and in terms of like a hidden cubby for the Mark 8 I don't see it in the US spec so there's basically your wireless wireless CarPlay wireless Android Auto I'm gonna go ahead and see if I can test that out but ambient lighting as far as ambient lighting 30 way changing color adjustable ambient lighting you see it's for, it's, it's red right here it's a little bit red right here now for the door handles since it's kind of like a horizontal door handle uh, it doesn't have any LED illumination right here compared to Mark 7 which was sideways now one really uh, bummer one huge bummer the fact that they don't have the Mark the, the Euro Cubby found in the Mark 7 anymore all right other than that, this is one of the most. This is the one of the only tactile buttons right here, the hazard button. Everything else seems like it's haptic. Mirror switches are nice, ergonomically placed, very Audi-esque. My chrome-tipped window handles, rear seating. I mean, um, uh, AC vent, as you can see. completely off if you slide slide completely to one side and then the toggles like that okay and this is the panoramic moonroof that is a little bit bigger than the average but still not as big the SE comes with a borderless frame for the rear view and another bummer for the Mark 8's they did away with the um, what you call it, the sunglass holder. So that's uh, in, in replacement for all the car net type of stuff. The safety features, kind of like the OnStar vehicle, um, Volkswagen's OnStar type of uh, service. Now, now it makes a, like a, a error click if you hear it. I guess because the car's not on, but vehicle not detected. Someone was kindly asked for the keys. See, so you let me have it, right? But a little bit closer look at your center console. This is the sliding, or this is the cup holder. Basically, you just press this button. Go ahead and customize your keys. I mean, your um, your cups. There's a 12 volt right here. Um, I think that's about it. All right, let's go ahead and just open up the head, um, the center compartment. No USBs here. All right, it is ratcheting. This is familiar, maybe straight from the Mark 7. Same matching cloth as this right here. Again, I just want to give you guys a closer look. This part right here in the SE model is like Alcantara type thing, like a suede material. The inserts right here and also right there. Everything else feels very familiar. All right. I want to move it to the back seats. It gives you guys a look. Now the rear door panels. This is um, hard plastic. Same materials here. Very familiar. I would like to say that the rear cubby is a little bit bigger, but I can't really confirm. But you could go ahead and maybe fit like a. A thicker like a stubby mug mug right here uh, overall the rear seats are similar right and then what's missing from the rear is your heated seats but it does come with USB C's right in the back two of them so no heated seats no rear heated seats like the Autobahn but there is a leather package here that gives you the leather seats for the SE if you don't want the, the plaid. Alright, other than that, let's go ahead and just take a look. Now, the center cup holders don't have your adjustable 
width anymore like the Mark 7s. There, had, there used to be plated plates here to block off to go ahead and, and customize your your cup holders to your specific plate. But this is kind of like a, just like a three-way customization. The center pass-through is still the same, still very familiar. I'm gonna go ahead and just uh, maybe try in the back, but your latch and child seat latches much more convenient. You don't have to go ahead and remove the covers anymore. Just flip up and down to open and close. Alright, overall LED lighting seems to be a lot more brighter in the rear, more angled. Kind of like a dual LED thing going on right there. Multi-directional. Rear pockets are similar to the Autobahn seats. Two pockets up top, one big map pocket on the bottom. Lumbar support here since it's not power adjustable. Again, I believe you can go ahead and get a leather seating package for the SE model. Alright, GTI. Again, I think the Oryx White, Oryx White looks amazing in this GTI. It is perfect. Yeah, that's true. Let's go ahead and just give you a quick look at the window sticker. Now there's a 2022 SC model with the MSRP of 37339. Packages include your Oryx White but they charge for a 395 additional 400. Auto dimming, you also have to pay for. And everything else. I'll have you guys freeze frame it. But I think the SC is pretty, pretty well packaged in my opinion, but then again, you know, if you're going for SC, why not just go for straight Autobahn, in my opinion. You can still get the Oryx White for the Autobahn as well. Alright, and that's about it. I'm going to go ahead and see if I can get the keys. And give you guys a closer look at the infotainment. But I'm going to go ahead and adjust the shutter speed and let you guys see the heartbeat. Um, how do I do this? So if you see, the start stop will go ahead and blink red or pulse red it's like uh, that's like a nice feature for the GTIs I'm not quite sure if it's the same for the Golf R I'll have to go ahead and get into a Golf R in the future all right overall pretty nice upgrades I'm gonna go ahead and do a, like a compare a comparison between the Mark 7s and what is missing but all right thank you guys for watching this 13 minute video video see you guys in the next one